Hey guys, welcome back to Max Cars Dawn of War Unification. Today I have a 3v3 for you uh, with Shakma, aka number 6567, and one of his main faction, Orcs, with Kukai, with Elder, he states that he is not the best Elder player, and Imperial with his main, I think, Imperial Guard, versus Yasu, playing. Also his main, I guess, or one of here, the factions he does play very good is Chaos Marines with Seth, Seth, or oh, the name, Seth, Seth, whatever, playing 13th Company and I um, got noticed that uh, he does not go for bike spam. And last but certainly not least, it is GPR playing the Sisters of Battle. So, um, I always like Imperial Guard noises, so I have Present this one <laughs> activated, but we will see if there will be infiltrated cultists. I would need to change the view. Uh, quickly going through the openers and then I will uh, see where the action goes. Pretty standard for Imperial. It goes through two guardsmen, uh, two tech priests, and command squad. For Elder we have a gen opener, also pretty standard, two guardians, three guardians, no, one, two guardians and Dark Reaper, we standard. Did, For Orcs we get Slugger, Slugger, a three Slugger, uh, no, Slugger, Slugger, Shooter and Big Mac on the way, it's pretty standard as well. We get PR, he goes non-standard, I think he goes for um, Inferno Pistol Cannoness, this is true. <laughs> He does not have it yet, but it is on research. One openers he likes to do, I find it a little weak. Um, for this set, I think he would need to get more wolf dens. This is not a good opener. Uh, how much units does he have? They are just standing around. You should get more uh, wolf dens if you're not try, uh, um, wanting to attack. It's your resources. And for <laughs> this chat spamming is real. Chaos Marines, we have two Chaos Marines, Chaos Lord. No, two cultists, Chaos Marines and the uh, Chaos Lord with the generator. Also pretty standard. All standard openers. The, the kind of weakest opener I see on a set. set on the 13th company, to be honest. He uh, has units around, but he's not really using them. They're just standing in his base for now. Um, you want to get at least three of the wolf dens uh, in the beginning because uh, they give you all the income in the world. You can go even for four to five and then tech up as soon as you can. little back and forth here with Chaos and uh, Imperial Guard. Imperial Guard should be able to hold this here. Losing the Psycho hurts, but you have still a lot of HP. Yes, you have still a lot of HP. You can go into melee. He upgrades his listening post, which will make which will make him um, hold this here. Now then, with this upgrade, he should move in and uh, hold this now. Putting in some Guardsmen could also help. Uh, two squads now. He can go into melee. I don't think he needs to be afraid. He has uh, two squads, uh, two units, both with almost full health. Uh, some action in the middle. We see some Elder versus Surgeon's Company with Flamers and <laughs> a missionary and uh, the Cannoness. Cannoness going into melee. Uh, not sure, does he have the power sword? And here we have. Another squad of Grey Slayers. They, he, that's actually a good um, thing he did. He um, reinforced him in the base, gave him a plasma cannon, and then deep strike them into the in uh, into the fray. They will be able to cut through Dark Creakers, giving enough time. I see some technical issues here for Yasu, which is sad. One, two squads of Imperial Guards still. Adding heavy bolted turret. 
what is uh, totally underestimated is a uh, second infantry command I, I've seen it uh, with bros they put in like on a choke point you want to defend maybe like here uh, I don't know how much the critical radius is like here um, an infantry command and then you can pop in and out your infantry and doing a lot of damage a lot of damage we also receive on the cannoners here minefield got detected so cannoners dies it's basically all all the troops of Gepia. it's all can but he is hard hard taking to tier 2 right no yes he is tier 2 already in getting the pyro sworn and with the celestian squad as well as some blessed ammunition and all the different upgrades so he rushed tier 2 tier 2 on the way for chaos tier 2 should be done yes is done for uh, the wolves, the furies, uh, tier 2 also up for Eldar and I guess 1, 2, 3, 4, yes tier 2 will be up soonish for orcs as well. Uh, where's the fighting? The fighting is in the middle. Orcs trying to uh, force the issue, Eldar being pesky as they like to. But I saw some long fangs in production and there we have it. They have plasma cannons and less cannons in tier 2. Jesus Christ. Uh, we will need to have the side of this team so we can see all the hidden um, 13th company stuff. You see a lot of red now on the... On the field so we see a push from orcs here to shooter boys this other one is just a Gretchen and there comes another deep strike this time again Grey Slayers so he is more he plays them like uh, support really really nice uh, usage I have to say um, having them as a support role in a 3-3 it's really nice to have them like this he needs to push. Gepia said he wants to push and he pushed back. Said clearly not not the experience, most experienced player here around, but uh, we forgive him, of course, as we do. Uh, there's no point in retreating back to your base. Gep wanted to push. These guys just standing around doing nothing. These guys going back to base to be deep striked again, but uh, yes, you at some point you need to have your units fighting. Maybe he's now supporting Yazoo here, who is gets teamed up by Imperial Guard and Elder, but is producing already a Defiler, and the def Defiler will help him quite a bit. Other than that, he has just the uh, uh, Chaos Marine squad here with the Chaos Lord, losing this listening post for sure against two Dark Reapers, two Chaos Marine uh, squads, to be honest, and there are two squads inside here. I can see it um, with these little guns firing at the each side when they are uh, loaded. Misplay here, he is in, co in close combat against the Chaos Lord. Yes, he needs to tuck in back in the camera and now needs to run the hell away. <laughs> That's doing his his job and um, supporting his allies with deep strike forces. Maybe he would have just needed the uh, uh, Long Fang and kept the Grey Slayer somewhere else to attack. Building <laughs> defenses in the middle. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how his economy is looking. By this point, you normally want to have um, at least six barracks and three Hall of Knowledges. Um, he has a lot of resources. He needs to use them to get more resources. Just build a lot of stuff. Um, is there only one builder for him? You need both builders and then build your base up like crazy. Then you have unlimited resources and with this unlimited resources you um, basically build a lot of stuff and be active around the map. That's how you play uh, 13th Company without bikes. I mean, play uh, micro IC does this quite well, but uh, macro IC can, he, he can improve. We have Celestian, Celestian, Celestian. Three Celestian squads for Gepiar. He likes to spam stuff. He has a Confessor and he should also have the Pious Worn um, somewhere. 
There she is, alone in enemy base. Is she that good to have her alone? I don't think so. I would put her in a Celestian spot as well, to be honest. He has all the upgrades. He just upgrades them full. I'm not sure if these multimelters do um, good infantry damage still. I need to look that up because I um, tend to give them only the standard melters because they can be fired on the move. The multimelters, they need to stand still to fire them. Surely they are uh, superior in damage, but um, sometimes you want to fire on the move. I will look um, <coughs> up if they do good infantry damage as well. Big push of 13th company and this is a battle here. We have a Grey Slayer spot here and a Long Fang spot. All being annoying. Smoke grenades within this uh, infantry squad really nicely used of the uh, 13th company here. Even warp spiders can't deal with them. There's now a back step of um, <laughs> Imperial Guard, but the backstab gets backstabbed by Chaos Marines, so these are now sandwiched, poor sandwiched Imperial Guard dying. And here you have this infantry blob of death with a lot of smoke and mirrors and whatnot. They're just moving through the smoke, stealing, getting no damage dealt to them. They have even this, uh, I think it's a damage reduction aura of the, the Confessor, not sure about it completely, but. Um, Maybe we can read it. There he is, there he is. Uh, stay still for a second, please. There he is. Come on. Give you all this nice cinematics. There he is. Immune increases the attack power of surrounding allergens. It's a damage increase, not a defense. Okay. We have quite a lot of stuff going on here. Yes, even from a period regard, the um, strafing run, but it's not enough. And that's pretty much GG. Yes, three three, but a short one. Imperial tends to stay in a little longer than. What is uh, <laughs> normally uh, GG time? He uh, tends to stay in the games and fight it till death, which is honorable. But no way he can win 3 1 here. Here comes in more Grace Layers in the back line. Long Fangs as well. I would disagree to put Long Fangs this uh, in the middle of the fight. They need to support from long range. That's why they're called long tanks. And that's pretty much it for this game. A little messy, but that's 3-3 uh, three, three for you. A lot of action. I hope I caught most of it. And I hope that uh, the new comer here that I haven't covered haven't seen uh, before that set with this for me hard to pronounce name will stick around a bit and improve he has the right ideas with um, the 13th company I haven't thought of them like uh, in this support role in 3-3 where you have them all your units be able to be deep strike <coughs> sorry anywhere on the map Kazakin running for their lives but in vain they will turn to shreds and I think I will end this replay here because this is just a uh, slugfest to the end and yeah with this I say with this Oakland's dying I call it a day so I hope you enjoyed this 3-3 um, I had a lot of 1v1s lately so I thought 3-3 uh, would be nice and this was a nice one it's not one of these three series that goes for 30 minutes, which is nice. I don't like games where they're just sitting back, peacetime maybe, and then attack and uh, yeah, one big fight and then the game's over. This was action pretty much from the beginning. Interesting build orders all around. And there it is, GG.
an unlikely alliance of chaos sisters of battle and space wolves no not space Wolves, 13th company i hope you enjoyed it as always i thanks thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye